Well, over in Italy, there's a place called the Piazza dei Miracoli, which means the Square of Miracles. And in this square, you'll find the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. But what's especially interesting to me is you'll also find this 1,000-year-old cathedral with this beautiful towering baptistry at the front of it. And it's said that before people could enter into the cathedral, they had to first go through the baptistry. The idea was that after passing through the waters, they would then enter into the communion of saints. Last week in our We Believe series, we talked about how baptism is the moment when our sins are washed away and we are united with Christ. But like that ancient cathedral symbolizes, we're not only united with Christ, we're united with the body of Christ, the church. And not just the particular local church, but the church universal across space and time. Paul says it this way in Ephesians 1 in verse 22. And he, speaking of God, put all things under Jesus' feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. So according to Paul, we're united with Christ and through that union, we're also united with one another. Christ is the head and we are the body. What's more is he describes this body, the church, as the fullness of him who fills all in all. So the church is the body of Christ that fulfills the mission that Jesus began here on earth and that he continues up in heaven. In other words, we are the hands, the feet, the mouth, the arms, the eyes, the heart of Jesus in the world. And what Jesus did in particular here on earth is now universalized across space and time through the church. Or as Paul later says it in Ephesians 3 and verse 10, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. Now, for many of us, this may be hard to believe because we're all aware of our own flaws and failures, and we're all aware of the many flaws and failures that are often a part of each local church. But Paul, as someone who witnessed the very worst and ugliest parts of the church firsthand throughout the ancient world, Paul still believed that God was doing something incredible through it. And so, like that beautiful cathedral that took nearly 400 years to complete, we believe that God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, is carefully constructing this beautiful temple, the body of Christ, the fullness of Him who fills all in all. We believe in the universal church, the communion of saints.